Serious objections have been raised by community boards and echoed by faith leaders about whether Mayor de Blasio's affordable housing will really be affordable, and that proposed zoning changes could change the look of residential neighborhoods in Brooklyn and Queens. The mandatory inclusionary housing plan sets aside a portion of new units for families making $46,000 a year or more. There are a large constituency in New York City that actually make less than that. Um, so the, the concern in, in a lot of places was that it didn't catch the people that really truly need the affordable housing. But supporters of the plan point out that the income levels named in the plan are based on averages, so that people below the $46,000 a year income level could be eligible for the new affordable housing. Among community boards who overwhelmingly voted against the affordable housing plan, a major issue is the ability to have a voice in changes being made to their neighborhoods. So these height increases are something that would change the you know, contextual look of, the, of our communities um, without us having a say in, in the process. Council members are now negotiating with the de Blasio administration to make some changes addressing these concerns. You can give community boards 60 or 90 day review period um, to, to review and have input and have comment and have a vote. Um, I think that that is reasonable uh, accommodation to the community. The council is going to vote on the proposals in March, about 30 days from now. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.